Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Jacks. Today we're going to be learning about various I things. I have to go potty. Well, you better go potty before we go on our field trip. Uh... <laughs> Why are you yelling? <laughs> because I'm way back at the back of the classroom. Don't go potty. Not at the back of the classroom. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> well, so how, I have a question for for starters. I um, have an answer. It's twelve. Oh. No. Oh. So, Miss Frizzle. Mm hmm. She's the teacher, but also she's the bus driver. There have been some budget constraints. She's um, a bus teacher or a teach driver. I think she's less the bus driver and more of just like the... You don't really drive a horse, right? You just kind of... You just kind of sit on the horse and ask it where to go. I don't know that she has to drive the bus. The bus is... Is the bus sent... alive? I mean, yeah. Oh. It's the magic school bus. This is lending a lot more credence to the whole Time Lord theory that I saw going around. She does have two hearts. It's weird. Uh oh. No, that's not true. Well, it might be, but... More alive than any of us are. Terrifying. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> it's very nice to... <laughs> nice Such to... sights the bus has beheld. Such sights the bus has beheld. Uh, hey, how would how would you say you would mash together Miss Frizzle's name and my name if we we're going to be doing the whole? Please let this be a normal field trip. With the jizz? No way. Okay, stream's over. So we're going to kick off with uh, the magic school bus explores the solar system. <laughs> Moving extremely, extremely quickly forward. Because, <laughs> holy shit, what do you even say to that? Nothing, ideally. I, you asked. I guess, I just I didn't... I answered. I guess I just didn't expect to be punished for asking a question. There you go. Man, there is no way we are gonna be able to publish this without it getting copyright claimed. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Have we started it yet? Oh, no we haven't. Okay. There we go. Okay, game uh -huh. capture not good enough for it. Ah, uh, that's all we need. That's all the capture we need. <laughs> it's, I'm getting it set up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> How could you have predicted anything other than the jizz? <laughs> Look! Oh god. Oh. Oh, everything hates me resizing this. Ooh. That's exciting. This oh boy. Absolutely... Les Glib. Hang on, chat, while I try and figure this one out <laughs> real quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Matt, why are you asking me to play Devil May Cry 2? I'm having trouble getting the magic school bus to work right. <laughs> no, that's... that's... Dagic... Mool... Cuss. Damn it. That was nothing. I see. Today, class, we're we're gonna go down into hell with with Dante and Virgil and all their friends. <laughs> <laughs> T 
today we, we all get to turn into various demons and devils and monsters into the transmog report of fire everybody oh fucking do it i can love the transmog report of fire it's definitely what it was called absolutely Well, I have a question for you, Jax, while oh, we're getting ahead. this set up. Go for it. <clears throat> Trivia time starring Jax. Uh huh. In the show, The Magic School Bus, uh -huh. what is the bus's average highway miles per gallon? How the fuck would I know? I thought you were. A super fan, <laughs> as all super fans know. Um, uh huh. Twelve. 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 Is the school bus Miss Frizzle's stand? I thought we agreed that it was Miss Frizzle's TARDIS. It's her TARDIS. That. It's fair. Is Liz her stand then? Yes. Ooh. That still ain't right. It's better. Mm -hmm. If we combine the Miss Frizzles Gallifreyan and Miss Frizzles Arnold from the future who's trans theories, does this mean Arnold is also a Time Lord? I guess it would. Arnold, so. the poor Time Lord, abandoned on Earth, unaware of his heritage, until he it wasn't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, 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 done. Really have anything for that. well done, perfect. <laughs> Brent. Cut, Brent. So, the magic school bus was pretty much i think what made me a furry really i f i feel like it was one of the great progenitors alongside like red wall but yeah for sure oh huh. i honestly Part wouldn't have expected that there we go that's whoa um, that's very <laughs> So we're going to space today. And you know, I think my first, like, official persona, I guess, if you want to call it that, when I was in, like, fucking fourth grade, would have been a chameleon. And now that I think about it, it's probably Liz's fault also. Oh, you really <laughs> liked Liz, huh? I guess I did. <laughs> I mean, it's this crusty-ass... 90s animation recreated <laughs> for uh, DOS and Windows 3.1. <laughs> wow, Keisha looks 134. <laughs> Weirdly enough, this actually gets a little bit better. Um, the uh, I think this is the first one that they put out, or at least a very early one. Oh gosh, I have no idea about that in particular. Which one of these did I have? I had human body, I had space, I think I might have had one more. They were they were pretty rad when I was a kid. Things happen that couldn't happen in a million years. Like that. Not. But I'm sure you can tell the difference between what's real and what's not. What? So, yeah, Liz talks in these for some reason. What? What? Click on me, Liz. <laughs> that... That's what I'm here for. Did Liz not talk in the? In... <laughs> not a, not a peep. Okay, so I'm very confused because Liz was like, "Ah, oh, the frizz." <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is going on back here? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why are you looming like that? Oh my god, <laughs> they did make Arnold blonde for some reason. Is Arnold not... Is no, this Arnold? Arnold's gingy, yeah. Okay. A second time. So. Aren't you guys ready yet? <laughs> is it, so is this. This is. Please that's, explain the lore. That's Janet. That's Arnold's cousin? Sister? Huh? Um, relative? Cousin. Who's in a different class, but I guess shows up for a couple trips sometimes. Oh, I just like killed the total that opposite of Arnold. You kill? Oh, look, it's Plubbo. <gasps> My Who? favorite planet. Plubbo. <laughs> Plubbo! That's Plubbo, the real planet. Uh, Whoop. Uh oh. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, Pluto by Arnold! Ah, Pluto at a glance. Pluto at a glance. Uh huh. Ah. Oh. Pluto is so far away that the sun would look like a star from there. Cause it, cause... hey, kinda is my dude. <laughs> Cause it is one. <laughs> Scientists don't even know for sure what Pluto looks like, but they know Pluto and its moon Charon That's are wrong. about the same size. Look, remember, this is. Whoop. Why don't the, the other distant past. Like Pluto? Oh. Cause it's always acting so cool. I get it. Choose a section of this report by clicking. Yeah, now we know what it looks like, and it's got a big heart on it, and it's the coolest thing. Photos that are inside the report to hear all about them. You might even find a joke. If you want it closed, click on the tab way over there. <laughs> that that was unhelpful. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I can read, so I know to click the close button, but... Pluto is usually the ninth Whoop. planet from the sun, but sometimes it's the eighth when its orbit crosses Neptune's orbit. Dang. It is I, Neptune's orbit. Why I want to go to Pluto. Why I want to go to Pluto. I just said that. I'd like to be the first person to go to Pluto. <laughs> I'd like to be the first person to die on Pluto. <laughs> well, good news, Arnold. <laughs> oh? What's gonna happen to our boy Arnold? <laughs> is 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 something wrong? Oh no, no it's gonna be fine. And a bird would be light as a feather. That's because Pluto is so small and light; it doesn't have much gravity. Pluto is at the outside edge of our solar system, the last planet before the stars. Pluto and its moon Charon are geosynchronous. That means Charon orbits at the same speed that Pluto spins. <laughs> Even on Pluto, I will be still be fat as fuck. Absolutely. Fun fact: when this game was probably made, Pluto actually was within Neptune's orbit. Oh. Ah. Cool facts about Pluto. Oh. No rings. A rip off. There it goes. Oh, goodbye. It's gone to piss off Neil deGrasse oh. Tyson. Oh, Lily, I would love it if you blabbered the random space. Oh, trivia. for sure. Go I nuts. Like we are. Eager for that. We are gonna be doing space and trivia and all sorts. Yeah. Please, please do go piss off Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, yeah. Or on Neil. Either way. Oh. Yep. That's what that is. Whoop. Well, ah, oh. <laughs> neat. Uh -huh. And there's more lobotomy software. Hang on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Planet Surface games developed by lobotomy software. You ever? You feel like maybe they founded themselves thinking, "Yeah, we're gonna make the next Doom," and. <laughs> <laughs> 
and things. Well, where do you work. get to the Mars game in this? <laughs> <laughs> I love how two of the classmates are just outside looking in. Like, <laughs> what? Are you late? Did they lock the doors? Uh... It, it's Nighthawks. They're they're outside. It's Nighthawks. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Christ! Oh. Nightmare. Oh. Here's my permission slip. Here's my permission slip. No, good thing I made a second one. <laughs> good thing I made a third one. <laughs> well, look what you did to the bottle garden. Oh. I guess look what I did to the bottle garden, to be fair. Yeah, how, how could you? Cool. Uh huh. Uh oh. Oh, I remember this. Oh, so many dim what bells ringing in my head. Oh, this mm, this is the spiky planet. Oh, planet of the spikes. It used to be the planet of the what? spikes and bubbles. Oh. What? Oh. Uh, hey, what oh, the it's fuck? An angel. Don't be afraid. It's just an angel. Hey, what the fuck is going on here? You know, space facts. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is he even? <laughs> Welcome to Yuga. What? I mean, okay, I guess I'm gonna click on all the spike bits for. <laughs> you... Oh. Huh? What? What? <laughs> what? What? You know, like it's the planet you you goth. <laughs> you know, and, and if you kids are real nice, maybe we'll even take a trip to the planet Atropus, oh. <laughs> and we can watch all the. Oh my God, Silver! Yeah, I read that whole sordid story. It's it's an amazing one because, like, the person that uh. And it was basically one person who actually made that uh, port work is kind of a huge, huge uh, underdog in uh, g the game development scene and uh, is trans to boot. So that's like fucking amazing. Oh, red. Y yeah, I don't I guess those are supposed to be like the kids made up planets, maybe. Wait no no no, Miss Frizzle. I know you to... want. I know you want to go to the bus, but like we're not we're, done we're with whatever. We're pretty the... fucking late, you know. What? We're late to go to fucking space. It'll still be there, <laughs> probably. <Close> the <laughs> uh huh. Cool. Okay, this one's an actual ass constellation. The rest of these, nah. Whoop. Whoop. Goodbye. Ah, oh, fuck! I broke it. Well, you broke the planet. You're getting very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Johnny Test planet. Uh. Okay. Are we running out of space? There's no more space. <laughs> oh. 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 Right. <laughs> and I mentioned that these <laughs> games occasionally dip into nightmare fever dreams. What? What is it? 
any of this. <laughs> it's space fat. God damn it. <laughs> I have zero fucking context. At this point, I don't think it would help. <laughs> You're presuming that I have context for this. Is these games just occasionally dip into fever dreams? I don't know what to tell you. Look, you're the resident magic school bus expert on account of... I think I maybe saw one magic school bus episode. I had prepared a couple of remarks like, Ah, oh, what if you mashed up my name and the Frizz's name? And, uh, hey, did you know that Little Richard sang the title theme? Actually, a true fact. Really cool. Um, Actually, a true fact. But I was kind of counting on regular sized Richard until he wound up in the magic school bus, and then it shrunk him. Okay, what is this gonna do when I click on it? It looks like a bouncy ball. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's going to turn into a album cover for them from the mid nineties. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember the music in this thing. Oh, new Prodigy album cover looking tight. <laughs> Look at this contemporary album art. <laughs> oh, it's Break the Tar- Break the Targets, Planet! Break the Targets! This doesn't look like anything like that. Oh. Well. I guess. Like, is this a- is this a puzzle? Is this just a thing to click on and thing I think happens? it's just- I think it's just play with it. Okay. You know what, I'm okay with that. These- I, these games were on another level as far as entertainment games went. I- I, I think... Hadn't thought about <laughs> this little fella in a long time. <laughs> Okay. This is awakening some ancient nightmares. <laughs> this is a spaceship, right? Oh! No, it's a boy. It's a boy that terrified me as a kid. What? <laughs> Incomprehensible. Have a nice day. But oh! Huh? <laughs> this is. This is awful. <laughs> it's it's the planet of the the crying child disturbed the children. Okay, let's go to the planet of the deep fried God, egg. God, I slice. hadn't thought about that fucking weird three legged horrible alien creature in so long. I was just oh. Oh. Whoop. Uh, okay. Oh, it has a moon. Oh. Ah. Oh. It has two. It has tunes. Games. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Oh, huh. oh it's. It's got a lot of moons, actually. <laughs> okay. I think we've clicked on all the things. <laughs> I think we've interacted with the planets of the solar system. <laughs> so. Are you enjoying our space adventure? <laughs> Gah. Does someone want to go to Jupiter? By Dorothy Ann. Oh, a pretty good red spot. Red Jupiter spot. is the biggest planet in the solar system. About one and a half times the size of all the other planets put together. And it has at least 16 moons. According no, to my research, this is all largely just stuff to click on. And I am having a great time, but like... <laughs> there was something... I... 
Are we going to start seeing digital horror based off early 90s edutainment? I mean, I guess we've got Baldi's <laughs> Basics, don't we? The red spot on I, I feel like we're kind of pretty much there already. Yeah. I'm so full from radiation and this bit rot, you know. Kato did make one and it is very good. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. It's uh, cheetahs are meant to be fat, I think. Um, if you want to link it, um, if, if it was on itch or whatever, Kato, if you want to just do that, that's fine. It's it's fun old old school edutainment vibes with um um nothing more. It's perfectly normal. One of oh, the largest moons, Io, is the only moon in the solar system known to have active volcanoes. I want to go to Io to see some of these volcanoes. Okay, so you want to go to Io, not necessarily Jupiter. I want to visit Jupiter's four Galilean moons. I mean, Galilean, to be fair. Io, Europa, I, I guess going they to Jupiter itself is because they were discovered by Galileo a long time ago. Kind of difficult. What with the no ground? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's got some kind of solid core, right? I am not certain that it has a solid core. Whoop. Okay, Jupiter's coming at you in 3D. When? At a glance. Supercritical metallic hydrogen is not ground. <laughs> it's close enough. Where do the astronauts eat? The lunching pad, of course. <laughs> what does that mean? Go back to Paper Mario and teach me a spell. <laughs> the little asshole. The lunching pad. Whoop. Uh huh. What? Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Head picture. Hello there, and welcome to MSB TV. As a producer Hi. on this project, I just want one thing to be very clearly understood. Do okay. not attempt this trip on your own school bus. Um. <clears throat> Well then, to find out why, just tune okay. to any of our three stations. To find out why you shouldn't try to go to space in a bus. Attaching rockets to your school bus will upset your teacher, the school principal, and your parents. Besides, it won't get you in orbit anyway. An ordinary bus cannot travel in outer space, and you can only become an astronaut with years of special training. Did this kid grow up to become Neil deGrasse Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Actually, the magic school bus can't go to space. <laughs> Even if you could land on a planet, well, technically, it should be called the indistinguishably scientifically advanced school bus. Or Jupiter's moons dancing the conga. I mean, these things really don't happen, except when there's frizzles around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Space travel could make you miss dinner with your family for the rest space. of the year. Even if a school bus space. could go to space, it could never travel through the entire solar system in <laughs> one day. It would take years for the Voyager space, space to do that. On the space. other hand, if a red-haired teacher in a weird dress shows up at your school, start packing. Okay, this guy doesn't grow up to become Neil deGrasse Tyson. He actually start has some joie de vivre. De he enjoy life. Joye de vivre. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> I think is what you meant to say. Now, when he said get packing, did he mean because you're going to space or like you get away from this mystery teacher? Oh. Okay. Cool. Now what? Sure. Now what? She asks. <laughs> Hi. 
That fish has problems. Uh huh. Hey, we should probably oh, go to that's space. A good huh? Place to keep a bunch of burning. Yeah, let's go to fucking space. Okay, just an actual volcano. Normal. Sure. What is this? Cup of dirt. That's some good dirt! It's gonna fucking abduct Arnold. <laughs> well, see you later, I guess. That was what that was for you. Wow. I gained another Arcanist level. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your carbuncle? <laughs> it's Liz. Oh, you know what? Okay. Hey. Okay. I should have right, probably clicked on Miss Frizzle, but. Oh, Nelly. Look at the polygons. Oh. Hey, another question. Uh huh. Their bus Our doesn't have seatbelts. Oh. Wait, what? What? What did you say? I said her name is Valerie. I thought oh, you were gonna okay. ask what her name was. Uh. It's not really a question, I guess, but more of a statement. But their bus does not have seatbelts for them to. Everyone. Buses don't have seatbelts. I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. Oh. No. The the funding. The frizz box. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, where's the frizz? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? She's just abandoned them. <gasps> it's beautiful out here. Come and find what? me. What? Just play the games on the what? planet and move. What? Toby. <laughs> Toby's fine. How did she? How did she escape? <laughs> She's not gonna tell you that. Okay. Wow, a titty! Uh, okay. Well, alright, you have to get the play coins to <laughs> to convince your teacher to, to save your life. Alright, we're in space. Okay, Miss Frizz. Space about it. Miss Frizz is a Time Lord. Very responsible mm -hmm. with her charges. Exactly. Bus fish. Gotta have a bus fish for space. Gotta I have guess. a bus fish for space. Is that a gyroscope or just kind of there? It, oh. Yeah, Nintendo's red hair options always suck, and it's a shame because red hair nice, red hair good, mm -hmm. red hair good. You can't walk in space. Use the planet picker to choose a destination first. <laughs> Bitch, you watch can't me. Walk in space. Use the planet picker to choose a destination first. I hope this isn't like life support or something. <laughs> okay. Light support. Light support. Oh. Oh. And <sighs> push button for comforting moon sticker? Yeah, you put where you want. <laughs> Poor chameleon. Okay, now, now Frizz can't see me going to walk in space. You can't walk in space. Damn it! Use the planet picker to They glow. <laughs> oh. It's true. We are officially more accomplished than. Jeff rolled a bit bizarre. <laughs> yeah, on account of we actually went to space. And not just like the atmosphere. Oh. Ah. That's useful. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Why do we even have that button? <laughs> Whoop. Wow, oh, let's let's helio break in the sun. Sounds like a great idea. Mm -hmm. Solar. Well. 
go? Nope. You have to pick a planet. I thought I did. And you picked solar system. Oh no. You're going back to the school reports. Oh jeez. I'm I'm sad because I was like there was a why visit column. <laughs> that would be um, really <laughs> well, something. I visit space. Already am. Okay, we're gonna go visit Uranus. I mean, we I can't... hear it's big and swampy and full of craters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're getting, uh -oh. we're getting hydro bombed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, let me go get my gamer fluid. Wait, I don't think I pressed anything, and yet. And yet, here you are in all of space. Go. Oh, here sippy, sippy, sippy. Oh my god, Taro! Good night, Mischief Cat. Uh. <sighs> oh, that didn't look good. <laughs> Are we landed? Mm. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, time to get out. Yay. We seem to be at a bit of a Dutch angle. Yep. Miranda has the weirdest We've landed it hard. Moon. It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is what Miranda looks like. I thought you meant Carmen Miranda. And then they threw him into space. <laughs> summer on Uranus can last 21 years. Just think, if you were born at the beginning of summer, you'd never have to go to school. An endless summer. And if you were born in winter, Carlos? <laughs> 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 Miss Frizzle just I'm in your head, Carlos. <laughs> I uh, know everything you're saying. Okay, like to be fair, grade school kid from the night nineties, maybe? No Back when Carmen Miranda was a well, we're gonna hear anyway. well, popular to contemporary research. musician. Uranus and its moons are unique. They rotate on their sides, not like Earth and all the other planets. Look! Wow! Wow! That doesn't. I know, Booth. That doesn't mean that they would be on their side. Hmm, what? What a mystery what? this moon is. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. Sure. Uh huh. Hmm. 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 Liz looks what like. What happens when you click around? <laughs> I'm hotboxing myself in the fucking space suit. Do you remember my blood bloodborne character? Hmm. What a mystery this. You did make is. kind of a, a Frizzlian hunter. It was Miss Frizzlizzle. They got uh, caught in a teleporter. <laughs> oh, I went back to the. Wait, hang on. Yeah, that was a little bit Shrekky, huh? That was kind of Shrekky. It's a little bit Shrekular. Hang on. <laughs> what are you doing on my planet? <laughs> Get out of me, moon. <sighs> okay. This is the Tilton Match Science Experiment. 
Planets rotate at different speeds and different angles. Try to guess each planet's angle of rotation by matching it to the angle of the beach ball. To change the tilt of the ball, click on the boot. To make the ball spin, just click on it. Then, try to make a match by clicking on a planet. Jax, you do such a good Scottish accent. How do you do that? Oh, thank you. I've been practicing a lot. I've really studied Michael Myers. He's a oh. great teacher. And oh. fucking Jim Carrey at the Game Awards when he said, Don't grate it in the grinder! And then just kind of kept doing that for like two minutes. Just oh. fucking inspirational. Mm. I think he's gone a bit funny. And not like ha-ha funny. Jim Carrey? No, yeah, he's... He's... Loonier than a loon. Uh huh. Fucking wrong. Fucking wrong. I'm not very smart. Oh no. I think it has to be spinning before you click on it, maybe? There we go. Wait. No, I think it has to be spinning before it lets you click on a thing. Oh, right. Wait, Jim Carrey's a featured artist on the new Weekend album? Why? Oh. This isn't really an experiment so much. It's just kind of click some shit and figure it out. <laughs> click some shit and figure it out, Jax. Jax. Wow. We solved your balls puzzle, Miss Frizzle. Wow. Oh yeah, the tour videos are fucking amazing. Definitely reminds me of the... Uh... <laughs> the... Jungle Tour Strong Bad Email. Or oh, Jungle dear. Cruise Strong Bad Email. And on the right... Let's just hope that we don't have to encounter it. What the fuck? to jump. Run left or right by pressing on the arrow keys. Click on the what's it if you want to quit for now. You can try again later. Take a break. Oh. Once, <laughs> once again, we are uh, two for two games in the edutainment block that have given us the screw <laughs> attack. Just face jump. Yeah. Am I supposed to collect the pounds? I think that makes... Your jump worse? It sure does. I guess the cowboy boots is the space boots. Okay, it wants us to go up. So are you learning about Uranus? <laughs> I'm learning that it, it's um Uranus is right given all the yellow color. Cool. Uh oh Carlos. Uh oh Carlos. Oh, Are you, you ready to... <laughs> God? <laughs> Are you ready for the kind of death you burn, little man? So As much as Frizzle appears to be like a Time Lord or something, I feel like she's definitely at least a trickster god <laughs> who's just like, you know, I'm just gonna teach some, some funny kids some funny things. Hey, how... Oh! <laughs> well! 
Uh oh. <laughs> Is there a win state, or do we just go until we don't? Um. There's probably a win state. I hope so. I'm gonna avoid putting on avoid any extra the limbs. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Corona. Hello, okay. welcome to space. Welcome to space. We're learning Look so much. Look at all these space facts we're digesting. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that we're learning. <laughs> yeah, I know. It hurt me to say it too, Silver. <laughs> you? Just... What does Liz have? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, you got the lib! Hi, Spiffy. Did I already say that? I have no idea. Your eyes, Spiffy. I did, okay. I got boosted today. And therefore, my brain is a little scrundled. Oh. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I don't want to play it. <laughs> oh, you did too, shit. <sighs> well, happy boosts, Oh, you got... Yeah, yeah. No, the... I, I went to Canada Place for it, which is the big convention centre in town, and... My god, the queues. Mm. I bet. It, it was very funny. They they had us... Uh, <laughs> please do say this with maximum affection on Natural 20. <laughs> this is the Outer Wilds! Yes, absolutely! <laughs> it absolutely is. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my kids this is Outer Wilds! <laughs> Thank goodness there's a reason for the scrundlement today. Oh, <laughs> okay, oh, I'm no. more more scrundled than usual. My bundle is extremely scrundled. Scrundle X2. Still scrundling. Someone with clout promoted crawl stream team. Uh, <laughs> oh, if only. Hey, bud. Here I am. All alone on Pluto, the last planet in the solar system. Nothing but empty space, all the way to the next star. Well, that's not really true, but... What? Why, Arnold, you look all shook up. This is, this is the part where Arnold kills himself, <laughs> canonically. Wait, what? What? Why was there just a dude? I, I, I don't fucking... The last yeah, continue with fun facts. Here, I want more fun here, facts. Here, 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 here I, yeah, here there's, here there's sort of an orc cloud. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ah. What, ah. Is, what is going on there? There's just occasionally just like, ah, I'm melting a little bit. I don't oh. know. Whoop. Well? Uh -huh. Why are there always eyeballs in the telescopes? <laughs> always. Every telescope has an eye. I don't know. Okay, what's the funny activity here? This is the Pluto Loop science experiment. An object has Pluto. to go at just the right speed and angle to stay in orbit. See if you can send the bus into a perfect circular orbit. Ah. Click on the ramp to choose the angle, and on the flame to choose the speed. Then, click on the bus to send it into orbit. Hasta la vista. Okay. Ah. 
Um, I don't like the gun cocking sound effects. Man, there's not a lot of variety in the angles. Let's just send the bus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just away it goes. But oh, really? I wasn't wow. expecting that. Fun fact, the reddish coloration seen on Pluto and the streaks on Europa caused by tholins, which are a variety of organic compounds formed via UV or cosmic radiation. Oh, that is cool. Whoop. Whoop! Oh god. <laughs> oh. A perfect orbit. Oh, this Kerbal Space Program D makes looking great. Uh -huh. Inflate you making you pick and round as a one year old today? Oh, My god. Birthday. This is pretty much just find the right inclination to orbit, and it does just kind of seem like. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Goodbye, Pluto! Hi, <laughs> children. <laughs> All systems, full power! <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed that the, just the default settings is... Well, that's a pretty good orbit there, right there. Litho break, litho break. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad orbit either, right? It's a circle, it just doesn't have the planet in the middle of it. <gasps> oh, it's gotta be a circular orbit. It did it. Look at Brainy Lot. What? She that, did. She that's... did call it a. Per oh, that's not it at all. She fucked it. She did say it has to be a circular orbit. To be fair. I mean, this has got to be it, right? Yeah. That's it. Are you happy? At long last, are you satisfied? <laughs> Click on the ramp to choose the angle. Well, everyone's a critic. <laughs> now, can we do Arnold Platformer? Oh, we sure can. Is this just gonna be the. <laughs> Man! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I Arnold's think got some have... hops. Different gravity. Oh yeah, it wicked does. Hey, what is going on with Liz there? Because like, uh, she seems to have like she's just vibing. Yeah, but she looks like she's got like gingerbread cookies for hands. <laughs> I think those are gloves. I guess she's a chameleon, so her hands and feet are weird looking. So, oh, ah, an obstacle. <laughs> hey, Julie, we're learning. Julie. Welcome to Space Facts Learning Town. Oh, the two fingers on either side for grabbing branches claws. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Go. Oh no. <laughs> this is one time where chat is oh. Are those rocket boots? I want tea. them. They're tea boots. They're full of tea. Oh. These are gonna slosh when I step in them. What? Okay. Well. 
boots that have no They're obvious effect. For Turgus. <laughs> oh. <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are the stars all just like bonus? I guess the stars are all like bonus. Yeah, it's for high score. Oh man. The distressing thing is that it seems like you could speedrun this. <laughs> Probably could. <laughs> Dear AGDQ, <laughs> here is our submission. <laughs> Liz Star would be perfect for this. Brain percent. Uh-oh. Oh, it's time for you to die, I think. Oh no, but I just want the token, though. I really want the token, oh, though. Too bad. No. It's too bad. <laughs> okay. Well, this is fine. I can get the funny jump boots. Or, or can you? We should be able to get the funny jump boots. Oh! Excuse me, Brofus? When did I say that? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> oh my god, this is... You're not kidding, huh? You can run, you can run, you can run, you can run. You should run. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. You... There's probably not a lot of actual... ...game that you have to play. Yeah, well, I guess you just have one... to do these. Can we just, like go to Earth, and then, like, to hell with Miss Frizzle. <laughs> I like the 100% record. Is that all Frizzles? <laughs> Frizzle percent? Oh. Um, just not quite enough. Okay, Arnold, I need you to cooperate with me here. I mean, we've got Magic School Bus goes to the fucking center of the Earth or something on the docket, so... <laughs> that is true. Boing! I just go to Earth and go to Hell, and just kind of stay there. Well, Arnold, I have no idea how to make you take your helmet off. Okay. <laughs> We've now obtained incredible power. We have a play coin. Maybe. But apparently we need more. Oh! Um... Hey! It's kind of... One of this planet's moons looks like a giant cantaloupe. Uh huh. Nice try, but I'm not here. Oh, I didn't know that's what that was gonna do. Oh, that was the guessomatic nine thousand. Uh, Jeez. Moons looks like a giant cantaloupe. It's Earth. Okay. Okay, class. Where are we going next? I want to go to Mercury. Where it's really hot or cold. Yeah, we've got one vote for Mercury, one vote for Jupiter. I kind of want to check out Mercury. Uh, are we on Mercury? Did we go? We went. We're oh. here. Yeah, we didn't get a cool cutscene that time. Cause... Because I did something stupid, probably. <laughs> <laughs> she went back to Earth to just relax. <laughs> Finally rid of those kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, why, was... does, why does NASA ne never get that picture? <laughs> yeah. Monty Python called, they want their giant hand cut out back. <laughs> uh, 
Uh huh. I'm afraid a clown was gonna come out of there. Whoop! Goodbye. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Gosh, it's hot. Why does Mercury have to be the planet closest to the sun? Yeah, we can't win on this planet. We're frying on this side, and we'd be freezing on the other. Has anyone seen a telephone? Post office? Some place where I can read my email or pick up a fax? Arnold, are you expecting a message? Are you well, expecting Mercury a fax, is Arnold? The messenger of the gods, and I think I might be getting something from home. Arnold, get a clue. You're not a god. You're just Arnold. I don't think he said he I was a god. I don't think that was. Yeah, he wasn't insinuating that he was a god. Oh, oh. what? Mercury's first. The fastest planet in the solar system, circling the sun at more than one hundred thousand miles an hour. <laughs> it's Venus second and Earth third. If you're wondering oh, how they eat I and breathe, and other science facts, <laughs> just repeat to yourself: it's just this show. I should really just read Relax. How is this educational? We just learned that Mercury is a hundred thousand miles of fast. This is the revolving planet science high. experiment. Planets revolve around <sighs> the sun at different speeds. See how the speeds of Earth and Mercury compare. Click on either planet to make it revolve. When you see a birthday cake, click on it to see how many birthdays you would have had on that planet. <laughs> have your cake and eat it too. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. One. <laughs> yeah, Liz talks in these. I don't, I don't really know why. Okay, it's time to play Let's Game It Out's favorite game, which is Is There a Limit? <laughs> Fun fact, Mercury plays host to one of the largest impact craters in the solar system, Caloris Planitia, formed an impact so dramatic that the opposite of Caloris Planitia are hilly landscapes and formerly called Weird Terrain that formed during the impact. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love Weird Terrain. <laughs> Hope you enjoy uh, the sound of race starting? The, yeah, you know, the race sound. <laughs> yeah, the moon is generating no more candles. It is Mercury. What did I call it? The moon. <laughs> it's moon Curry. Wow. Okay. A portion of the planet liquefied then bulged. Oh, me too. Oh. Okay, I don't want to keep chat prisoner as we crank oh, it up to God. 100. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to keep you prisoner as I'm doing that. Oh boy! Whoop! Whoop! Okay. She just died. She just died. We found the mohole. Oh, jeez, Sippy. Oh. Some funky fresh tunes there, I guess. Mm hmm. The music in this is really good. There's no water on Mercury with which to hydrate from. We <laughs> brought our own, Julie. We, we thought of it. Oh. Well, this one's a lot easier than the other ones. Because it's the first planet, so it's the easiest? You know, it never occurred to me that the difficulty might be on a scale. Does Liz look like an Undertale sprite? Liz Undertale. A little bit. Like an overworld sprite, maybe. 
can we go to Earth and get a coin there? Can we, like, g- get into a spacesuit and just jump at normal height? God, <laughs> I hope so. I'm hanging out on a planet named for the Roman god of the seas. So Neptune, then. <laughs> Sounds like... Hey, hey, Jax. Uh-huh. Hey, Jax. Uh-huh. What's a cat's favorite planet? Uh, the, um, uh, I mean, I'm partial to Uranus. Black-tune. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like yours. I like yours better because it's less, uh, less against Twitch terms of service. Ah. <laughs> oh. There is everybody. It's Jupiter. So are we? Are we gonna be able? To, are we gonna be able to go for an EVA? Oh, we're in Brazil. Uh, oh, we're. Oh, we just landed in Brazil. All right, cool. We are going to Brazil. Oh, didn't know. Didn't know this took place in Brazil. You still haven't found the frizz. Don't you want to keep playing? Okay, fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. The terrain we landed in did kind of look like the terrain around the Kerbal Space Center. <laughs> A little bit. Okay, I, I do want to go to Mars. Thing one, because, you know, we've got to see if they talk about the demons on Mars. And thing two, because apparently there's like a vocal... Um, sample in the soundtrack here. Ah. Phobos and Demas are the moons of Mars. Their names mean fear and panic. Jesus. <laughs> well. Oh, oh, the oh. feet boy. Oh. Here's a fun fact for you, Jackson Chat. Ah, uh-huh. oh, Dust Devils. Um, as useful as something like a space elevator or really kind of any space infrastructure is for, for travel, it's next to impossible to get any of that set up on Mars because those moons are on r- r- roughly the same path that one would have to take to set any of that up. Oh, so the they would just destroy it. Moons are menacing. Where's the Martians? They should be around here someplace. It's another Shrek. Oh, Ralph. <laughs> real. Everybody knows oh, Ralphie. <laughs> oh. Get off my other planet. <laughs> Mars has too much atmosphere for a surface-based mass driver, but not enough for aero braking. And as big around its base as the whole state of Missouri. What? what? That's on the other side of the planet. <laughs> well, uh. Everybody give it up for Mount Woe making a guest appearance for our Chrono Trigger streams. <laughs> ah, it's a good thing Arnold and Carlos were able to take down Giga Guy so easily. Welcome to Mars Matt. These pictures may okay. look a lot alike, but they're not. One is Mars oh. and the other is Earth. The object here is to line up the planet with the right picture. Click on either planet to switch their positions. Then click on OK to see how you did. Damn it, straight, Janet! You're out. Okay, <laughs> you can always try again. Wait, hang on. Three strikes and you're out. And <laughs> <laughs> it's for kids, Jake. <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> have to do the same choice twice. Hang on. <laughs> oh no, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> Although both Earth and Mars have great mountains, after a hike on Earth, you could go jump on a lake. Well, jeez. Oh, there's more than one. That makes more sense. So, <laughs> this one looks... Oh, actually... Hmm. 
I mean, that one's got sign of water erosion and just general, like, um, the kinds of forces that you have on Earth that, that contribute also, to erosion. Yeah, that's true. It also kind of looks like the Vallis Marineris. It does kind of look like the Vallis Marineris is the thing about it. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus Christ. Sippy time. Oh. Uh, hey Lily, that's interesting. What what's um I'm sorry everyone. Jesus. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no. Why? Stop. Stop. Yeah, we've got signs of water erosion. Mm-hmm. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, it's fine, Lily. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Um, no, Lily, uh, the Phobos and Deimos thing, uh, and actually Julie's wicked right, uh, Mars doesn't really have, uh, rock strata like that, so... Think of it this way. The features on Mars are generally more dramatic than Earth's features. You know, bigger, deeper, or rougher. Hey, fuck you, Liz. <laughs> Big clouds for big water. <sighs> okay, big so that might be water. a big clouds, big water. Oh, but that might be a dust storm. Oh, maybe because it's below the horizon, where that's just oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Both planets have clouds, but most of the clouds on Mars are made of dust. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that one on the left's got snow and is Mount Fuji, and the one on the right's Mount Olympus. So and is also active. Oh, smooth. <laughs> Both Earth and Mars have volcanoes, but only on Earth are they still active. Got a live one here. Well, that's plants, and that's <clears throat> mushrooms. Hey, good job! <laughs> mushrooms. You can find lots of rocks on both planets, but grass and other plants. Only on Earth, my friend. Okay. Yep, once again. Got it. <laughs> Both Earth and Mars have ice caps, but Martian ice caps are surrounded by canyons, dust, and rocks. Well, I'm sorry, Cora. I'm not very mountain. Uh, that doesn't really work, does it? <sighs> <laughs> Good um, choice. While there are sand dunes again, on both Mars and Earth, the plants, those on Mars hey. can be much mm -hmm. higher. Can you imagine the dune buggy you'd need on Mars? Woo! Woo! Okay, well... I don't, would, I don't know that Phobos and Deimos would look like that, would they? I don't think so. Like, I mean, I guess there could be... Eclipses, but they're kind of lumpy, dumpy. Yeah. But all the same, there is two of them. Two. Terrific! You can see stars from both sides. <laughs> yeah. <but only> Mars <laughs> Julie's wicked moves. right. We're we're <laughs> thinking too hard about a lot of these things. It's like the the canyon one was big canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than Whoa, look for fucking size. strata, Mars and Earth both literal three-year-old. Mars has a ton of them, though, and Earth only has a few. Hey, Liz, when does this end? Exactly. <laughs> Never. Both planets have riverbeds, but the ones on Mars are all dried up. Oh. Um. Okay. 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 <laughs> Look, it was the 90s. People were very excited about their PowerPoint transitions. Yeah, I'm so excited about that that uh, helicopter, Lily. I've got a little... I maybe have a little Lego set of a little Marsy spaceship thing that's got a little tiny on. Yeah, I've got the same it's one. Up. It's very, very good. It's cute. <laughs> Where... Are we in, like, somebody's intestines? When did we jump into human body? 
Oh, it's a. Oh no, Ralphie's got puzzles. Lava tube. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. What? Oh. Okay, can we clip into the blocks? Okay, no. <laughs> I would like some air. I love that all the kids are able to pull off perfect screw attacks. <laughs> oh, I... Are you a pal? Oh, okay. Neutral. <laughs> Just kinda hanging out. It's like... <laughs> very a lot like one of the uh, critters from Commander Keen there. Oh! <laughs> yup, that's what jetpacks do! <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it uses up your air. Oh. I guess that's... That makes sense. Yeah. Hey, it's a pro propellant. Okay, well, let's just... <laughs> <laughs> it just goes straight up and down. All right! That is good game design, actually. I like that. <laughs> this is the Outer Wilds, isn't it? That's exactly what happens when you run out of fuel. Yeah. Your gem jumped back. Okay, let's let's go activate the Frizz Finder on Neptune because that's where that's where that sassy lady is hiding. Oh we gotta go to Saturn, it's pretty. Okay, let's go to Saturn. I'll go to Saturn. Oh yeah, I need to pull the big goddamn thing. Oh, it's a very low pitched. Oh dear. <laughs> we. Oh, we're <laughs> we've broken through into the opening of um... <laughs> the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, if you will, four school kids. In a bus on Saturn. Mm -hmm. Home, home, boy. Cassini Huygens hadn't got me. Huygens! Maybe. That might well be true, Huygens. Hmm. Hey, Melis! Oh, yeah. I love Planet Golf. It's my favorite planet to burn to the ground. No, oh, we're just hanging out on Titan or something now. Oh, God. What? 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 I love, I love the ragtime melody. I love, I love the old time harmonies. Oh, Mr. Piano Man, please just tickle those ivory keys. No, oh, it's not two Arnolds. It's Arnold's cousin Janet. Yeah. She's oh, here. Nope. 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 Everyone else is just... Everybody hated that. <laughs> Everyone else is just like <laughs> it's fucking thousand yard stare while this is happening. <laughs> just dissociating like, until it's over. Like nobody knows that uh, Janet doesn't know that they cut off her radio for hours ago. <laughs> Here, Saturn's rings look smooth and solid. But if you look closer, you can see that they're really made of dust and rocks and ice. Ah, red blood cells. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you know that Saturn's made of stuff that's lighter than water? That means it could float if you found a big enough bathtub. Yeah, but it would leave a ring. <sighs> a poem by Arnold. <clears throat> there once was a moon we called Mimus, with craters that said, come and climb us. Climb us, climb us! With mountains so high, they reached to the sky, and no creepy aliens to slime us. Well. 
Very fucking good. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh. No. Oh, they come out looking like the fucking zebra masks in Super Mario 2. Aren't they kind of like, um, uh, oh, Newbert? Them. It's Newbert! They're Newbert! My guy! Wow. Anyway, bye. <laughs> <laughs> This We're gonna go look at the Zion sketchbook. Ring. Science experiment. <gasps> Saturn is easy to recognize because of its rings. They look solid, but actually they're made of rock, ice, and dust. Have fun designing your own ring. Whee! I will. Click on the crank to move the dispenser into place. Click on the bins of rock, dust, or ice. This, Fill this the one's rings also make Saturn rotate. Producing a memory in my little brain. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Liz talks in this one. It's nobody knows why. <laughs> only for the only for the games. I mean, she also has a lengthy thing that she says at the very start, and it's just like. Blah blah. I'm Liz. I'm gonna help you with stuff. Oh. 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 Wow. Your very own Saturn. Neat. Yeah, apparently Liz only ever talked for the games. We don't really need to do this one, but you know what? <sighs> Apparently we're floating in... Uh oh. oh. Uh oh. Well, enjoy hell. <laughs> why, why Tim gotta be not on solid ground? Leap of faith. Oh. Uh, oh, it's got ice physics too. Oh, great. Oh, great. I thanks Lobotomy Corporation. <laughs> Is that Was that their name? I mm. It's what it said. And once you did the the planet games. God, she wow. she is she is woken and woken. <laughs> Gone to spoken. Yeah, spoken. those aren't oxygen packs on the back. Those are just jewels. Mm -hmm. Just appreciate the face here. I will. What have you done? You look at her. She's just. Oh. <laughs> Are we on a fucking moon? What the fuck? <laughs> Julie has obtained more beer. This is probably a good idea. Uh, real talk, can you imagine what it would be like to be flying in a plane through the atmosphere of a gas giant? All around you towering cloud formations up to five. Your concepts of scale below kilometers of clouds concealing the sea of supercritical liquid. Yeah! It would be radical as hell. Didn't, um, I'm thinking of a game, and I think it might be Star Citizen, uh -huh. that had an update recently, where now there's like a, uh, one of the main hubs in that game or whatever is on a gas giant on like a sort of floating city in precisely that sort of locale. Maybe it wasn't Star Citizen, but it was something like that. Maybe, I... I remember watching a, a so some trailer things for it because it looked cool and it looked really cool. I admit I wasn't aware that Star Citizen had gameplay yet. I it might it might not have been that. How many of these do we get? A lot. 
Apparently. <laughs> the miasma of incandescent plasma. What was the place I mentioned called? I don't remember the name of it. It wasn't a re uh, real huh. planet, but they, it was a solar system they'd made, and it had a big gas giant on it. It was one that for the longest time you could only see, I guess, like in the sky box or space box, I guess. But now it's like a real world that you can go and visit. And I, th I think Star Citizen, yeah. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Huh? Oh, that was kind of a, it's kind of a hella Jeff mouth. <laughs> God, it was a little bit. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it was Star Citizen. There's a a gas giant there called Crusader. And there's like a city built in in the clouds, so you can just kind of hang out and check it out, and it looks really really cool. These ridges on Triton look really strange, don't they? Yeah, this whole moon looks like a big cantaloupe. Oh, yeah, Neptune. If we can't elope, let us marry. <sighs> We'd make a peach of a pair. <laughs> Go get me fucking Bambi too for the. <laughs> look at that great dark spot. It's not that big. Are you kidding? That's yeah, look at the big dark spot. Neptune's off. eye is closed. A storm that moves as fast as 700 miles per hour. What do you mean? It's only ketchup from one. It slumbers. Does he have ketchup on his spacesuit? Boy, are we a long <laughs> way from Yeah, according to my research, if we'd gone the speed limit. It would have taken our bus 5,327 years to reach Neptune. And that's without a single bathroom break. These ridges on Triton look I guess really we're... Strange. Why wouldn't you be allowed for a bathroom break? Yeah, this whole moon looks like a big cantaloupe. Oh, Triton, if we can't oh, allow again. you to let us marry, <laughs> we'd make a peach <laughs> of a pear. Are you good, kid? <laughs> Can't unzip your spacesuit to pee. I guess that's, that's a good point. This kid's gonna grow up and enjoy round things too much. Rocks from Triton, Neptune's biggest moon. I've got to have some. Why didn't anybody tell me about the ice volcanoes? <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me about the ice volcanoes? <laughs> Uh-huh, natural 20. <sighs> I guess it was inevitable. <laughs> this is the planet cut and slice science experiment. Uh oh. Cut the planet oh. in half to see what <laughs> Destroy the planets. is in the middle of each one. Click on a planet, uh -huh. then. Uh -huh. Snip, snip. Click on a planet and cut it in half. Next, click on the layers to see what they're made this of. This is like heavy rain. <laughs> they fucking so gave us... Cut the planet in half. They gave us safety scissors, safety though. Scissors. Okay, well, well... You know. <laughs> Neat. Look. Oh, it does rocky have a rocky core. core. Apparently, oh. well, based on the best science available in 1994. Huh? Liquid metal. Green. Gases. Wait, what? <laughs> Gases. Hang on. Oh, Hang wait, on. <laughs> wait, yeah, what? Gases. <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of me, video game. I guess it's like meaning like liquid hydrogen and stuff like that, right? That, that <laughs> but that's would... still just a liquid. <laughs> I I know, but like, it, 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 typically you... gases. But here is liquid. I guess that yeah, it, it's it's a kid's game. Gases, gases, oh. gases. Okay, let's. Oh dear, it's just gonna stay like that, huh? Oh, oh well, well. It's watching you. Uh huh. Rocky core. Can I guess? Liquid metal? 
Liquid metal. Yay! Can I guess liquid gases? Liquid gases. You can. Gases. Gases. Well, I guess let's keep we, destroying planets. We think it's got gas in it. <laughs> gases. Huh? Liquid, liquid gases. gases. Rocky core. Could go for some Rocky core ice cream. Mm. I am sensing a theme with these gas giants as well. Just like... Rocky core. Liquid gases. Gases. Oh, I'm jealous, Silver. Jealous of all these liquid gases. The blade of these scissors is bigger than the... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so ice. Crust. Well, <laughs> crust of what? What kind of crust? <laughs> Dust crust. It's irreducible. Non-pizza left beef crust. El elemental crust. Rocky core. Ice. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, fun fact. Ice giants like Neptune are hypothesized to have oceans of liquid supercritical diamonds deep within, with icebergs of diamond floating in it. That's cool as heck. <laughs> Dust crust. Ooh. Crust. Liquid mantle. Hmm. Liquid uh, core. Oh. Egg. <laughs> does, does Mars actually have... Uh, uh, Mars is full of eggs. <laughs> Does Mars actually have a, a liquid core? It do. Oh. Does the moon? <laughs> the moon does not. Liquid core. Rocky mantle. Mickey mantle. Okay. Crust. Definitely sensing a theme here. Let's... Just finish our wrecking job. Yep. Uh -huh. Venus. Not part of the Venus ah! Admirers Club, so... Oh, I don't like that the top half of it turned red. Oh. It'll be fine. We'll be back. Liquid core. Liquid mantle. Well, Liz, we've done your dark bidding. <laughs> we've destroyed the solar system. Oh yeah, let's activate the Frizz Finder. Let's activate the Omega Frizz team. <laughs> <laughs> well, getting a little Mike Wazowski there. <laughs> Oh, and Arnold didn't even die this time. No, I'm sad. Uh, yeah, that was not Miss Frizzle. That was... <laughs> Prepare for blast off! No, I refuse. Well, I think that's about all, all the solar system I can take. <laughs> <laughs> we tire of space. We tire of space. The space... The Frith is Mizzle. Can't we go to the Trappist system next? I want to hang out with all those cool planets. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's stay closer to home this time. Do we want to explore the ocean inside the Earth? Uh, we What's do it? have explores the human body, but uh, that's kind of yucky. <laughs> let's go uh, uh, inside the Earth. All right. Let's... Just spend all that time learning about the crust and mantle and stuff. Let's learn about it even more. Time for that. Let's do it. Here's a fun fact. So the unfortunately named James Webb Telescope is doing well. So yeah. we can get hype about that. Hmm. I'm excited. Yeah, it's uh, just on the way now, and apparently it's actually doubled its operational lifespan due to um, the 
real good delivery uh, oh, from yeah, the Ariane they had a, 5. A real, real efficient takeoff, so it's got extra fuel. Yeah. We've got to stream this one, 22. Oh. Why are we spanking Plankton? Oh yeah, the body one is going to be janky. It's not going to be against TOS, but it is also going to be just a little bit yucky. <laughs> <laughs> Those rotifiers have it fucking coming. <laughs> Terrifying answer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it was performed by Little Richard. It's very fucking good. Mm hmm. Just click on the bus to start the adventure. Yeah, there's a, an ineffable sort of like taco quality to Miss Frizzle's voice. <laughs> Get ready for adventure, kids. Well, this. I'm clicking on stuff and no weird bullshit's happening. It's really neat to think that new rocks are being formed all the time. Sure. The Mid Ocean Ridge by mm. Phoebe. I'm I'm good. Those <laughs> <laughs> are chock full of exciting stuff like magma and gases. Wait, click on the butt? Which butt? Whose butt? I guess this butt? I don't know. They might not look like much on the outside, but geodes are oh. awesome on the inside. Geodes? Geodudes? <gasps> what the? <laughs> okay. Okay, normal. Hey, what's that horrible eyeball? Which horrible the eyeball? Giant, giant eyelashes next to the geode. Oh, this? Uh -huh. This horrible eyeball. <sighs> Why? Why did you bring that to school, Ralphie? Arnold's fine. He's just... He's vibing. Oh, oh, that was like a 3D picture, wasn't it? Maybe? I want to do it. Bring it back. I'm going to do it. Is this... It's... It's... I don't think this is a 3D picture, chat. It's nothing. It's a headache with pick with colors. <laughs> Julie, thank you for the resub. Three months, hell yeah. Uh, we don't have the dinosaurs one. What we've got is um, the. Actually, sleep. Could you uh, link to chat the um, uh, the collection so that uh, folks can? Sure can. Where? Yeah. Wh how? What is? Where? <laughs> You linked this to me in the first place. <laughs> uh, the, the collection. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. I can do that. This is a copper light? Gross. Oh, great. Yeah, my eyes are the wrong shape, too. I could never, ever, ever do them. I have... So... Oh, Whoa. my... God, Julie, thank you so much for the six tier one subs. Holy Whoa. gosh. Holy thank moly. You. Dang. Well, that's going to be doing that for a moment. It's really cool that caves get made by water underground. Sure is. Underground. Oh. I too far. I think I lost it. I'm bored. Oh no! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, don't be bored! <laughs> Click on the tabs. Where else? Oh. 
There they are. Copy link. Vertical footballs, dang it. Ah, oh, neat. There you go. Big old gobstopper. Delicious. I'm sensing less weird bullshit to click on here. Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh. Don't have as many rock facts either. Could you just uh, pretend? Make up some rock facts? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Rocks are. The really ghosts cool of diaries. M magma past. Oh. <clears throat> what? Rock facts, rock facts, rock facts. <gasps> rock facts, those is rocks. <laughs> they look tasty. Mm -hmm. I, I love the quartz that looks um, like meat. Mica cleaves along freakishly flat and orthogonal planes. That's exciting. Oh, you've you've got some flint facts. I feel like. I guess you that's true. Tell you us can about turn some flint, flint into tools. <laughs> um, what is the most those... edible category of rocks? Whichever one. That... Salt. <laughs> yeah, actually, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh oh. Okay, goodbye. Flint and similar rocks that cleave in a very regular way like that are what you can use to make stone tools. You you hit you hit one end of the rock and the pressure wave knocks a flake off of the opposite side of the rock. And you keep doing that. And those those flakes are I, I would always thought that like when you talk about stone tools it's like basically just a not any sharper than like the edge of a table or something and it's like how are you able to do anything but those flying through the air they really are razor sharp mm -hmm. oh i like punk rocks mm -hmm. Ugh. Oh. Is this Jesus? Of, is this all of Miss Frizzle's grim trophies? <laughs> I think so. Wait, some modern cutting tools still use napped obsidian? I think obs obsidian can get so sharp that it can cut between cells. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's. Pretty, pretty fucking wild. Why is the optimal number of samples of metamorphic rock three sets of 13? Oh boy. Uh, please, please tell us. And, and yeah, Liz looks so hungover. <laughs> oh no. She came down from sometimes volcanoes space are adventure. And sometimes they're not. Because 69 is nice. Ugh. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, about the bus? Huh? Wah! <laughs> <laughs> it says Wahoo. Oh, okay, that reason. makes more sense. Does it? Well, at least it says the thing that she says a lot, and it's not just... Oh no, <laughs> it's it's Wah Frizzle. <laughs> she's, here to, she's here to eat your knowledge, or whatever. <laughs> it's Miss Wizzle. <laughs> it's Miss Wizzle, ugh. Oh! Wait, we get to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Now... <laughs> oh. Oh. No, we cannot. Uh -huh. mm. Um... NFT maker. Jesus. Um... <laughs> What do we... Um... 
by Solar. How nope. about uh uh uh-huh. Rocks Pebblestone? <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, there is a mineral called Ulexite that sometimes occurs in bundles of crystalline strands forming natural optical fibers. They're occasionally referred to as TV stone. Dang. Okay, I kind of also like Beefica. Beefica is actually very good. <laughs> Can we fit Beefica Wendelthorpe? <laughs> oh, wow, we can. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. So All right, what- Beefica Wendelthorpe. <laughs> Okay, that's that's our skin tone slider. Uh-huh. Uh, Beefica Wendelthorpe seems like an extremely white kind of name. Yeah. You know. The Why four... is that the hair noise? Oh. The four human skin tones. Eggshell, beige, green, and navy. Yeah, they look a little bit better in practice than on the palette, but... They do. Cool... Flintstone hair, I guess. (laughs) 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 Is that okay? Are those ridges or are those hairs? Oh. I think they're ridges. This this reads like Star Trek alien to me. <laughs> That's just a cone oh. head. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Do we want to make her just like Bart? <laughs> Do we want to make <laughs> Blart Blart Crimson? Oh. I don't know. I I really kind of like the grass hair. <laughs> Okay, you can't go too quickly though because we'll all die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like the Slanky Kong is here. <laughs> the devs had so much fun making this, I can tell. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfect no notes. <laughs> Keep scrolling. Go. <laughs> oh. Tries to drag the eye down to a better position. <laughs> Why oh. is Xena in there? <laughs> oh. That's just a a funny pages strip that no one ever reads anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a strong competitor. <laughs> What's really good? What the fuck? Ice stops. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I... it's like if Lanky Kong became one of the Knights of Me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Hey, Magic Scoobas, what the fuck? <laughs> so, oh, so bad. The hover eyes? Like, these? Are those the hover eyes? (laughs) This kind of looks like a butt. (laughs) It's like a butt sitting on two red bottle caps. I think the the ones to the left. These... These ones? God, can I shut them up at all? <laughs> nope. I like that there's an option to print, though. <laughs> and print your lovely creation. Oh, we can have arm gear. Ah, sweet. Wing. I kind of like nubbin ear. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm so scared. 
Hmm. Ah. <laughs> that's ah. strong. Okay, so far none of these noses are sucking my ass. A lot of them are. Except for... None of them. Whoop. Okay, here we go. There are a lot that are not in this the position the nose is meant to be in. Okay, beef a cat girl. Oh, hey, we're we're ma we're making a Butch Hartman character, I think. Ah. Ah. I guess it is that the the eyes are sort of confounding. What? Ah. Look at all your different probular sensory organs that you can use to explore your environment. <laughs> oh. It sucks so bad. <laughs> Beef a Wendelthorpe ate a lemon every day for 60 years. Uh, You'll never believe what happened next. <laughs> we're gonna leave this and everyone's gonna be completely frozen in place. Just... <laughs> Just utterly petrified that this monster from beyond hell has <laughs> crawled up into the classroom. They're like, oh, maybe, maybe her vision's based on movement. <laughs> Everybody freeze. Wait. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Now game. print it, print it, and hang it on the, your refrigerator forever. <laughs> I think we could just exit now. That's it. It's a Rockhound license. Click on the gear shift to find out where this bus can take us. Then click on the go button to get there. Oh, I guess. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hey chat, I'm really upset. What kind of volcanic <laughs> eruption can you create? Oh. Select your variables. Low, medium, or high heat. And gas or no gas. Then click on the button to start <laughs> erupting. The, the hot new game, gas or no gas. <laughs> uh, let's make a gas. Set gas to on. Make volcano? Whoop, okay, here we go. Oh boy. <sighs> the okay. chances of a volcano forming are pretty slim if you use high heat and gas. Try another combination. Oh. Okay. <sighs> this is kind of got to be medium heat, huh? Otherwise, it just kind of. Sloops. Yeah. You just made a shield volcano oh. by mixing high heat without gas. Shield volcanoes have runny lava that flows out across a wide area instead of making a cone. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> detonated that volcano. Uh huh. Well, that. Hmm. I think that water was maybe meant to. Well, whatever. The combination of low heat and gas can make a cinder cone volcano. Cinder volcanoes huh. are often steep and cone-shaped, but they're made mostly of volcanic ash, not solidified lava. <laughs> Bake on low for 20 minutes, stirring frequently while <laughs> adding gas. Serves 8 to 40,000. Man. Uh. Oh, a layer cake. Delicious. 
kill me. You just combined medium heat with gas and made a composite volcano. Many composite volcanoes are tall and have alternating Brown's layers volcano of kitchen. lava and <laughs> Since the lava is sticky, if you lose a cutthroat kitchen, he throws you in a volcano. <laughs> solid. This volcano has ash layers made of andesite. Ah, andesite. We know what that is. Andesite, it's a yeah. fortress. I've made fortresses out of that. Well, the gas doesn't seem to be much of a factor. This composite volcano was made with medium heat and no gas. Hmm. The lava was so sticky that it I gotta go tuck my baby in the bed real quick. <laughs> okay, go throw tend to your baby bully. That's why this volcano is so tall. Neat. The lava flows are made of andesite. Uh, sleep well, Silver. Thank you for coming along. Much appreciated. Oh god, why? <laughs> okay, he's happy. Oh dear. Yeah. It's happened again. <laughs> Frizzle was in the mirror right until I was trying to click on her. And she was just Welcome. like... Do you feel like helping us okay. find a missing sample so. from his rock and mineral collection? First, listen closely. Okay. There are three types All right. of rock. All right. Igneous. Oh, the head pass. And <laughs> Arnold is missing <sighs> one of each, and he's also missing a mineral. Now, check out those four empty spaces in Arnold's collection box. Click on one to hear your first clue about the missing sample. Sedimentary rocks are made when tiny grains get pressed together. They are found in many places, like canyons, faults, and caverns. Arnold's missing sedimentary rock is rock salt or evaporite. Evaporite? Nice of you to find oh. it. A hydrate hopolips. Wait. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Frizzle. I couldn't hear what you were saying because I was busy swallowing a gallon of water. Fun fact it is hypothesized there may be ecosystems of extremophilic bacteria deep within the Earth's crust. That wouldn't surprise me, honestly, and that's really mm -hmm. cool. All right. Well, and now you get to dress up me and Keisha in whatever outfits you choose. Click on the arrows to make us but, try on all kinds of. Please preserve my dignity, Beefica. <laughs> I'm eight years old. Oh God. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Are we going out? <laughs> oh. oh, I like this actually. <laughs> Finally, an outfit that's right for me. <laughs> what does that mean, Arnold? Ah, <laughs> oh, I like this oh, shield. This is embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Like to know who did this to my hair. Perfect. Wonderful. Great. Oh, everyone's saying keep the heels. Okay, sure, sure, sure. There we <laughs> go. Seems practical. Yeah. Oh, you're not even wearing it? Um, oh, uh -huh. Maybe once we go I out. I can show you some really <laughs> interesting things with this 3D processor. I wanna, I wanna drive the butt. Whoa. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Uh... All right then. Uh. What's? This Earth Kitchen is super cool. What? Actually, no, what? <laughs> Earth Kitchen, you know. Welcome to the Rock Transformer. You can put stuff into the Rock Transformer and see what kind of rock it's made out of, or you can put a rock in and see what it makes. Oh. Galena. In top, this rock is untransformable. Sorry, well, schist. <laughs> Man, it is really picky about where you put the goddamn rock. Yeah, coming tonight is pretty great. <laughs> Please? No. Well, fuck this, I guess. Bye. <laughs> We're going to the center of the earth, you bitches. Okay. Canyon. Ooh, Geode looks fun. Oh. oh. It's just like those ice caverns at the end of Donkey Kong Country, too. Neat. Go, can, we, can we get out? X ray. Ray. Oh. Uh -huh. Still axes. Uh -huh. Crystal face. <laughs> Your Wee. fucking crystal face. Under the crystal face. There's a Minecraft mod like this. I think there's a there's a game like this too. Remember us playing it for like one night, maybe Volcanoids. Oh, Volcanoids! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All things that you've got this like vehicle that can dig into the earth. That's sort of like your base that you're improving and. You're on this island that shows the minerals true has crazy volcanic activity every now and again. You have to like most minerals leave a white streak, which you can't see, but metallic minerals leave streaks of distinct colors. Yeah, like the oh. the I don't like watching those meatballs make skid marks as they slid down. Me neither. Oh, that's how we get out. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, Liz actually looks a lot better in these ones. Now yeah. we're actually inside of a geode, everything has become crystal clear. Oh, god damn it. What you pointing at there? Sure. I said I love geodes, but I don't remember saying I wanted to go inside one. Well, don't be a baby Did you about know that calcite is a mineral that always grows into a crystal shape? But gold is a mineral that never grows into a crystal shape? I wish I knew as much as the phrase. I thought she was going to say, I wish I could grow into a crystal shape. Did you know that geodes form in holes in cooling lava? I sure did. Water full of minerals gets stuck in the holes. Over a long, long time, these minerals grow into crystals. Yeah, extremely giant geodes, just like the core. <laughs> it's geodes time. Click on a crystal to deposit water full of minerals into the hole. Then, oh, hell yeah. the growing experiment. Oh, I love the growing experiment. <sighs> they could be tiny, that's true. It does sh shrink them a lot. Yeah. It was the episodes where they turned into animals that I liked the best. <laughs> oh yeah, we never did quite a a query you on the whole, this, this was the genesis of your furry. 
Yeah, yeah that was mostly because of the episodes where they had turned into animal friends. You're Jason oh. Furriness. <laughs> it is the primal rage map for Wicked Run. Oh, neat. Wow. Dang. Cool. 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 Anyway, bye. <laughs> There's a distinct... Wait, wait, what? I guess, is that a tooltip or is that just the bus dreaming? I think bus is just thinking about, wouldn't it be cool if I was a plane right now? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we did shrink. Where are we going? Ooh, What's pretty. happening? What? What? <laughs> okay, it was a tooltip, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no kidding! Hey, video game, what? Where the fuck are we going? Oh. Okay, kids, now climb the sheer cliff. Oop. Oh. No. Oh. I'll see you soon after this ride in my hot air balloon. The frizz is definitely the most interesting teacher I've ever had. <laughs> the frizz is abandoning us again, <laughs> Ralphie. Goodbye. Are they cousins? Oh, what? Think so? Oh, I thought you said cousin Ralphie. Each time oh. there's an earthquake, fault blocks get further and further apart. Aren't faults earth shaking? Earth shaking? I'm not sure I want to know what she's talking about. Ooh. Wait a minute. How did the frizz get up there? Oh, it's air balloon. Yeah. How quickly can you help me across this giant fault? Oh, you're putting a lot of faith in us. <laughs> hey, Alice. Hold down the button. The farther I'll jump when you let go. You made it. You made it to learning. Oh. Terrific. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is with this music? Oh, dear. It's pretty extreme. Whoop! This is oh. like <laughs> rejected Sonic Adventure music. <laughs> By which I mean it's good. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. 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 I like your fans that you're developing. Thank you. Our community is the best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you these fans, I see. Yeah. Our community is the best, and they're also a lizard and two horses. <laughs> And one balloon. Wow. And a bump sign. I really would like to click on some of the stuff from the background, but whoops. This music is just fucking going places. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Someone told this composer to pick a genre and they said No. <laughs> And also, I knocked over a bunch of cans. <laughs> this, I think it says bump, but I would prefer if it said sing. <laughs> it, well, once it becomes a fan proper, <laughs> it changes to say sim. I made. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch out! The fabric of reality is falling <laughs> apart. Oh. Better look next. Tune's eye has <laughs> opened once again. Oh dear. Ah, oh, perfect. Pretty nice. Oh. They they can just put any sound effect for anything, can't they? They they can and did and have. Okay, there is a distinct lack of things to click on here because. There's an earthquake. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just... No oh, goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, never mind, I guess. Well, you caught it, so I'm glad. 
You did it. Can you help Phoebe and Meeby live in finding the hidden fossil fuel? Phoebe and Meeby? Click anywhere above the oil uh. coal line, and Phoebe will search for coal. Click anywhere below the oil coal line, and I'll drill for oil. But well. you have to take turns with Liz. Can you help me and Phoebe determine if fracking is a good idea or not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just... we found some coal. Oh, neat. Sure. Excellent. We just did oil. Oh. But, um. Wait, is this just fucking battleships but with fossil fuel? <laughs> It kind of seems like it. Don't let the U.S. find out what you're doing. No kidding. Super! We just drilled into oil! Okay, yeah, no, I'm... Okay. <laughs> I, I don't enjoy the prospect of digging for fossil fuels. Under my feet. Metamorphosis can turn shale into slate or limestone into marble. That is so hot, it's cool. I wonder what Dorothy Ann and Ralphie are doing. This rift valley is so cool. There are so many layers to examine in the fault walls. Hey, back underground with you, bus. What, once again, what if they added oil to Minecraft? I mean, uh. that's in at least one of the mods out there. I think Industrial Craft has it. Mm. Their dedication to the Foley work here is very good, just the depth. Yeah. <laughs> More vaguely Donkey Kong esque music. Yeah. Called plates. These plates fit together like the pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle. Bodacious! And plate tectonics explains how plates are made and destroyed. Once again, there is a disappointing lack of stuff to click on where weird bullshit happens. <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't seem to have quite the weird bullshit the other one did. I'm I'm pretty sure the human body is full of insane well, bullshit. This is a map of and human bullshit, I million years ago. There was one big ocean, and all the continents were joined big in ocean. one huge landmass called Pangea. <gasps> well, we're pro <gasps> puzzle solvers, so obviously. Absolutely. Want to play the Pangea? Uh oh. Uh, Click on a puzzle piece and drag it onto the globe. Uh, Click again to paste it down. If you put it in the right place, it'll stick. If not, the piece goes back to its original spot. <laughs> this is fine. But... You must be a puzzle expert. <laughs> I sure am. All right. <laughs> oh, are we going to get one of those every what? time? That piece definitely goes there. Oh, I'm looking Apparently. Well, apparently not. <laughs> Alright, I'm bored. I'm gonna go... <laughs> I'm gonna go get lunch or something. Have fun with this or whatever. <laughs> fun with your jigsaw puzzle, nerd! That shape looks just like a pembis. <laughs> oh, it's just early Florida. Don't worry about it. Ah. Oh. Feel like I was close enough there. Good move. Oh, you're back. <laughs> lunch was boring. Uh, I didn't have any lunch puzzles. Uh, well, chat. I hope you signed up for jigsaw puzzles because that's what you're getting. We gotta learn something somehow. By God, 
Pangea, Pangea, apparently. We're gonna learn that Pangea was this way. <laughs> yeah, this is how continental drift works, apparently. <laughs> Would we know if like there was a proper civilization spanning thousands of years on Pangea? I mean, I would feel like know? I feel like there would be some kind of remainder, right? I guess I I guess we did find Pangea dinosaurs. Oh, random question: Who was your childhood crush? Wowzers! Um. Hmm. That's tough. Because I, I don't know that I had crushes mm -hmm. a lot a as a kid or or later on. I don't I don't feel like that's something that I did very often. Great fit. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one, and I'm not really. I'm not really sure. Sorry to disappoint. The, <laughs> yeah, the only thing. The only character that kind of comes to mind is Leon from Star Fox 64. <laughs> oh. I yeah. thought he was pretty neat. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I had a crush on him, but... You must be a puzzle expert. I definitely did have some kind of crush going on for Fox McFox. Oh geez, and actually now to think about it, there was a character in, um, God, actually no, I've I've unlocked now, uh, uh -huh. like, like, um, oh, hang on a sec. First, there's Pokemon. Uh, they put together an evolutionary path for the Geo family of Pokemon and Arceus. It's just a bunch of the first stage of evolution arm wrestled together. Oh, uh, oh, I. I thought that I thought that Geo Dude already had a path. Oh, a different evolutionary path. Okay. Neat. Interesting. Pangea. Oh god. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Grace. The joke was so good that it made the music cut out. Um, <laughs> no, I I actually unlocked some uh, memories now. I remember playing um, Harvest Moon uh, for the SNES and um, definitely crushed on uh, Popori, which was um, the... Ah, right. oh, the flower girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, there was a, a girl in um, a roguelike kind of game called Azure Dreams and I can't for the life of me remember her name right now, but um, green hair, uh, very tomboyish, <laughs> very cool, and definitely crushed on her. So those are the two uh, crushes I, I can think can of. The next, puzzle. The, the next puzzle? What do you mean the next you one, Carlos? Ahead, years after Pangea. Oh, has your dreams? Yeah, it was so good. Like years ago. You can see Africa and South America. Notice that Europe and North America are starting to split apart too. Okay, well we're not doing this. Man, <laughs> they sure are anyway, bye. <laughs> wow, that's, that's wild anyway, later. Wow, look at that Pangea. <laughs> it was all just one big green. <laughs> it was weird. Oh, Asher Dreams is good. Like, um, you're. Uh, it was. It was really. Let's go in the mid ocean it's region. Everyone, it's subduction time. Uh, oh. Oh, jeez. Miss Frizzle's gonna teach us the art of subduction. Oh no. Of the plate changes and becomes part of the mantle. But how do we get out of here? 
Well, we won't just go with the flow. That would take us millions of years to get out of it's... here. So, come on, bus. Do your stuff. Well, but I wanted to. Oh. <laughs> oh. You wanted to hang out in the abduction zone. Hmm. <laughs> Deeper, I guess. Man, I'm I'm glad that there's more people than me uh, know what Azure Dreams was. It was good. <laughs> Okay, well, well... I don't want to be here again. I want to, I want to go down. I want to go down. What's the Earth Kitchen? I want to do the Earth Kitchen. I would love to do the Earth Kitchen. I guess I'm just going to real quick show folks uh, our... Oh. <laughs> our me, so to speak, for folks uh -huh. that turned up a little late. There we go. I'm going <laughs> I'm going to print that out. <laughs> Dust off your Game Boy printer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is the Earth Kitchen? It's the one behind the girl. Oh, is oh, that's the Earthy Bake Kitchen. Okay. Yeah. This Earth Kitchen is super cool. <laughs> well, no, he's behind the glass. So. Well, sure oh, that's a whole thing. Or look through the drawers. If you need to help, help me, just click on me. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna put in lots of swamp plants. Barney, my pebbles. <laughs> I... Oh, I can probably... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's a good fucking grinder. Uh-huh. Earth is a cruel god. <laughs> Whoop. It's caco too. Calcite, mix calcium, carbon, and two oxygen. Do we just destroy all the work you had so far? Corundum, mix two aluminums and three oxygen. I think we might have. Can god. we put this away? Oh my shit! Ralphie, you bastard. Stole all of our shit. Okay, let's. Stole all of our shist. No. Guess let's. Okay, bake on high. Is that gonna do anything? Me? No. There are some extremophile cellular organisms based on sulfur rather than carbon. It's true. I only want to bake Galena on low, but... Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Good. Okay, let's try baking Galena on low. What we... Uh, oh! Uh... Okay! You smelt Galena, you get turkey. Turk Normal. Galena. Normal. Where the, where the, hecky frick else can we go? Where, where the dang hacker? I mean, I am. I have not blasted my ass out of a volcano yet, so I think we're going there. 
And that's probably going to be it for the stream. We're really getting a little late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wahoo! Here we are at a favorite of mine, a mighty fine mountain. But there's more here than meets the eye. I think I think Alice is right. I think there's some um, sulfur-based life around, like hydrothermal vents down down in the way down to you. Ah, a, a game. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm gonna upset this goldfish. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It's like... Oh, that might be it, yeah, that they... Use it in place of oxygen rather than carbon. I'm, I'm, not, I'm really not sure. Oh god, oh god, no! It's fine, it's going to the sea. No! Anyway. Oh. Uh-huh, so we get... Second chance? Oh. Man. You saved everyone. I saved the world. What kind of volcanic eruption can you- Nope! You already did that, Miss Frambus. What do you got to say? It's such a cool looking mountain. It's shaped like an upside down ice cream cone. Like a cone? I think I read that some volcanoes are poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sarcastic. You should play upside down ice cream cone. Oh, you mean like a cone? <laughs> Fuck. Oh dear. Oh, beans. Uh oh. Oh no. It's probably fine. <laughs> Why are they tongues out, though? Dull surprise! Ah. Oh. Uh, hey, Bussy. Back Watch in the bus. Bussy. Yeah, I'm gonna roast your Bussy. Ah, uh, hey. Really cool, Wanda. That lava is melted rock, so it's actually really hot. I get it. Wow, I can see the crystals in this rock because they're so big. Wow, I can feel my skin vaporizing off of my bones because of how close I am to molten fucking rock. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, here we go. <laughs> we are in the Kool Aid. <laughs> are we just doing funny donuts? What are we doing? <laughs> oh. Welcome to my chambers, class. The magma chamber, that is. What's magma, Miss Fizzle? It's melted rock under the Earth's surface. It pushes up to the surface through a volcano, and when it comes out, huh? it's called lava. When the lava erupts, it will cool rapidly to form extrusive igneous rock. Then, as the layers of I think this is more educational than the planets one, but mountain. man, it's uh, again. Is this me, or does the magma level seem to be rising? This magma is definitely rising. <laughs> Give the what thumbs up when the bus the melts and you all die. In due time, class, you'll find out in due time. What happens to the magma that never makes it to the surface of the earth? Does it still turn into rock? Yep. The magma that Usually dwarves use it to the power their forges. Mm -hmm. Like granite. As I always say, don't take geology for granite. <sighs> I should have known she that. She does always say that, often unprompted. Exactly how hot does I should have known. I should have known, should have known that they would uh -huh. just step on all of our cool rock puns. Wow, <laughs> the magma's getting awfully close to the surface. It's not very nice of them. Here we go. Wow, we found lots of candy ore. I can't wow. wait to mine it all up. <laughs> Whoa. I stayed home from school today. I can tell all my friends what the inside of a volcano looks like. Sure can, bud. Wow, I 
can see the crystals in this rock because they're so <laughs> thin. Frizzle, your thumbs are total shits. Uh, man. Okay. I think. Well, we've learned everything there is to know about rocks. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of sad that, uh, that I didn't really have a good button to put yeah. on that one, but, um, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes well, that's just how. We sort of flew out of an exploding volcano. We I somehow, guess. some kind of flew out of a volcano kind that of, was sort exploding. Of, yeah. Just a little bit. A teens. Uh, folks, thank you all for coming along, and thanks for sticking around for the full lesson. Uh, if there's anyone mm -hmm. there that's, um, you know, been watching and not following us, uh, hey, I'd love to have you hit that follow button. It really helps us out. And uh, if you know anyone that would enjoy our a particular brand of girl, uh, then absolutely uh, just let them know, say hey, go watch these people. Uh, if you want to give them something that uh, they can watch uh, that's not a VOD, uh, you can check out our YouTube channel, which does have some highlights on it. Not many, but we're working on that. <laughs> I promise. Um, and remember, there's going to be uh, a test on all this tomorrow, so study up. Or else. Yeah. No homework, but there is going to be a test. And uh, the test is going to be on Friday, and we will be uh, trying to stop the rock, which... I... This is Bill Nye um, discovers meteor coming to Earth, tries to stop it, right? Uh, technically, it's, it's um, NASA Laser Defense Network sees asteroid coming to planet and decides, no, I don't give a shit. And you, along with Bill Nye, have to convince it to save us. <laughs> what a... What a completely... Um, what a completely unbelievable and definitely uh, not a scenario I could see happening in real life. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know, what's the profit motive for stopping the rock? Yeah, what if the rocks got a bunch of g gold and minerals and stuff in it? Okay, uh, we are gonna uh, do a funny little raid. Uh, we're making a habit of raiding Space Yeen, it seems, uh, because <laughs> he seems to be the only person that's still streaming when we're <laughs> uh, when we're wrapping up. So, um, if you want to stick around and raid Space Yeen, they're playing uh, Monster Hunter Rise. Um, so, I'm going to do that just now, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you all on Friday. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye